Oh, don't you just love beekeeping? We've just come around the corner after a busy day out blooming, looking after our major bee bloody population. And what happens? We find this box is, is trying to do a bit of exercise. I think it's thinking about swarming by the look of all the bees on the front here. Either that or they're just having a hell of a good time on some young citrus that's across the way. But if you see this, it's worth having a look because if you don't really want to climb a ladder and get the swarm out the tree, you might as well get the swarm out the box before it becomes a swarm. So anyway, we'll find out together. It might be a bust, it might not be. Being that I'm in the backyard, it's not too imperative to remember everything, but you're probably going to want to get yourself a blooming little queen cage just in case you find the boss lady. Hopefully we can find her and then we can do a nice little split. Once upon a time that would have been a pack of Winnie, Winnie Red, not a queen's cage, but you know, it is what it is. Got our smoker, got a hive tool, we've got you to follow along so you know what happens. Go over here and check out what sort of excitement we've got going on. You're going to want a box to put the extra ones in too, by the way. Either either a couple of newt boxes or a or a bigger or another bigger box to put them in. Or it can be really painful until you, you can get a splitting board and all that. But we're not showing you that today, so just ignore I said that. That'll be another job. Righty, oh, let's just go over here and see what we can find, shall we? You never know what mysteries you're going to find when you pop the lid of a bee box. What are we up to, ladies? Busy, 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 busy you are. Maybe you're all just sitting out the front because you can't quite get all the nectar back that you're collecting, but I don't know. I hope there's no new queen sitting out the front here. That'd be crazy, but there wouldn't be. Here in the land where we eat Vegemite, or the land down under, which is Oz, of course it's spring at the minute, so the lady should not be bearding out the front like that because it's not necessarily a good sign in spring. In the middle of summer when it's screaming hot and they're doing their thing, quite often they'll have a big cluster sitting out the front to keep cool. I don't know, maybe they're all around the blooming back porch, <laughs> you know, having a, having a barbie of their own. But anyway, I'm a bit concerned because it's spring, which is definitely a time when they like to swarm anyway. And I'd rather they didn't swarm. And you happen to be here, so we're going to have a bit of a look what's going on. We're just going to pop the lid off our little box here and see what's going on. What are you done, chicks? Whoa, I think they've even built up into the lid. Maybe they are. They might be a bit full in here, I think. I actually didn't put this super on here that long ago, so you ladies must be enjoying their new plus home, they must be. Look at that lot, my lord. Even with a hive mat, they're being using their resources. Have a look at that lot, I think they're hectic. I think there's a few of them in this box somehow. We'll leave them ladies in there to do their own thing. <laughs> Pop them back here. We'll just smoke a bit off here and see how much honey we have up the top. Hey, golly ladies, you've been busy. You have been busy, girls. Well, it's not, it's not that full of honey. There is a queen excluder in there, is there? <laughs> no, there's not even a queen excluder. Mr. Slackass. Okay, let me shake you there for a minute. <laughs> Maybe I was thinking I was going to split this one anyway. Oh, here we go. Look at that. They are quite full, young John. Probably not completely ideal because I haven't got a queen excluder, but it might be a good thing. Maybe we'll just do a split regardless with that happening. Oh. There's only one frame of brood up here though. Look at that, they're filling that all up with nectar. You can see this would have been the brood nest around there for the winter. Now I think we have to find the queen to see where she actually is. We'll just have a bit of a rough perusal up here. Make sure she's not up here first of all, but. Oh, girls, 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 what are you doing? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, it's only my own fault, I guess, but anyway, I've got to blame somebody. Oh, that's heavy. Wow. -ey. You are definitely looking for some room. Hmm. Funnel up an L. Floop and floom and heck, eh? Only got myself to blame, you reckon? <sighs> right, okay. Now, the being that we haven't got a queen excluder in here, we better be a bit more, a bit more precaution going on. We'll pop that back in there. Just gonna give him a bit of smoke. See if I can't make sure she decides to run away from that. Hopefully she's not over here on the roof, that would suck. So we're just gonna pop our, well, it's meant to be our super, but we're gonna pop the top box off. And we, oh, wow, they are full. I think they are definitely looking to have a bit more room to move. Oh. Wow. <laughs> okay, chicks, you do look full. <laughs> wow. 
We're going to have a bit of a peekaboo to see if we can find any queen cells for a start. Hopefully we, well, part of me hopes we find a queen cell and then it'll save the problem. And then all we've got to do is make sure we find Her Majesty and then we'll have the job sorted. But it might not be that easy. We'll find out. Oh my gosh. Okay, chicks. <laughs> you, anyway, you're a bloody look, good looking queen, if nothing else. Wow. Have a look at that lot, would you? And that's the outside frame. Jeepers. Mrs. 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 Boss B woman. Now, as a general rule, they'll usually have some swarm cells down towards the bottom of the frame. They're not always. They can be anywhere, really. But you look along. Make sure you check the bottom of the frame and where they're all been laying up. We're going to sit that over there for a minute and keep our investigation going. I don't think that's going to be, it's not, shouldn't be on that frame being on the outside, but she might be. They might be building a frame out there, but what do you reckon, ladies? You are very hectic in here. Uh, yeah, I think you'll make a good split, though, because you're nice and busy. And a bloke should have his glasses on. Where are you, boss woman? I'm going to find you, are we? They are definitely choppers here. <laughs> if they're not going to swarm, they're thinking about it soon. I think we should do a split regardless anyway. I think this is what you call a fairly full box of bees. I think something needs to happen. And I'd like to keep her, because that's a pretty good bloodline, that is, if she's going to breed up like this. Man, hey, have a look at you lot. Yeah, is it anything in that? No. Well, I'm looking for the queen, and I'm also looking for queen cells. That's a start of a little queen cell, but they're not actually done anything with that. So, you can, so don't get too excited when you see them, but that's, we're looking for that with a bit longer end. Wow. Where would we be? Hey, where would we be, young lady? You would be anywhere you want to be. found the queen so we're gonna to have to go with plan B which is pretty much shake all the bees into the bottom box and we're gonna take about four there's four of these brood frames out eggs or really young larvae about three days old which is so you see a patch of larvae and generally the queen will lay the edge of that out so you want some you know white grubs and then on the edge of that if you look really carefully you'll be able to see the eggs at the bottom with some jello and they're the ones that you want the girls to raise because if they're, they're up too far along as a grub they can't turn it into a queen anyway and yeah, technically that's an emergency queen. But you know what? We're gonna have an emergency here in a week or two anyway because these girls are gonna not be, not gonna stay in this box this full. This is intense. Plan B, here we come. I just thought of, because I haven't got a queen excluder and I haven't found the queen, I'm a little bit concerned that she could still be up that top box. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna shake the girls out of the top onto this bit of a mat. Try not to shake them straight in the dirt because it's not ideal for them. You know, they don't, they're not really designed to run around in the dirt. So I like to put a bit of a mat down and then we'll just shake them out of the top and of course they'll run back into their home. Hell, you never know, I might get lucky and find the queen as well. Part of me would like to find her and the other part hopes she's not up the top because it gets complicated then. But anyway, let's see what happens. So we're just gonna have somewhere to put the empty frame. Well, not empty frames, they're gonna be full frames, but Hopefully empty of bees is the plan. <laughs> Rightio ladies, let's see what we can find. So, now the next part of the plan is, is because we didn't have an excluder in here anyway, there's quite a bit of brood up the top here, but we're going to take a few frames out of the bottom box, which are going to have some young larvae and a bit of cat brood, put our queen excluder on, and then in the morning we'll come back and the little nurse bees will be up the top, and then we'll flip the box around with a dividing board, which you'll see in the morning, 
and hey presto, we'll have a new box of bees. So we're gonna find ourselves a couple of frames that we like. We'll find the three frames we wanna take out. We're gonna use this one up the top here. That's a nice bit of cap brood, but what I want is two more that are basically got some young, young stuff, or eggs are better. And then the girls can raise themselves a new queen. I think that's a little bit old, that one. It doesn't look like it's got anything real young on it. We don't want that. What have we got here? It is a nice mean, that's, that's all gonna hatch out the beautiful young worker bees. But on the edge, she's laid some new, she's got some new larvae. Those big white dots, they're too old. Next door to those, you could probably hope that there's some eggs and that they'll be able to turn into a queen in there. In this corner in here, in this little bit in the middle, where it's hatched out earlier and she's laid some new stuff, that might be all right. Hang on, we're gonna go and have to look in the sun because the sun's getting out of the way. Wait a minute. You need your sun over your shoulder when you got no eyes. Actually, you know what? That's gonna be perfect. I reckon that one will work. Looks like there's some nice young stuff in there. If you wanted to get real excited, some people say you can run a knife through there. So then you'll actually get them to create a few more queens, but we don't need too many queens at the minute. We're just, we're just trying to make this one a split. So that looks like it's a good one. I reckon we'll grab that. We'll shake our ladies off of this one because this is a bit older frame. It's got a nice lot of cap brood on it. As you can see, it's a pretty full box. We didn't find a queen cell, but we found plenty of pre-queen pre cells that they're gonna lay up shortly. This is what you call preemptive swarming. If you're doing this and you're taking those frames out, keep all the brood together. Don't put your new frames in the middle of where the brood is, because then you'll end up, although with this many bees, it doesn't bloody matter too much, you'll end up with them trying to warm two separate areas and some lot will get in trouble. So just try to keep it all together. So we'll just push them across, because they look like they're frames that they're breeding in. I'll just check this one and see that it's not just honey. Yeah, so that one can stay on the outside because it's just honey anyway. We had one frame there with brood in that you want to push together. Then you want to put your new stuff, because you'll work backwards and forwards, but you don't want your brood separated if you can possibly avoid it. So we'll just give them this honey frame. Am I going to have too many frames? They all come out of this same box, didn't they? <laughs> I'm not actually counting. How many have we got in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, well, okay. Well, I've got too many frames somehow, John. How did I manage that? <laughs> Did we get some from somewhere else? What have I done? I think we might have had too many in here, so we might get rid of one. I think we're only going to put nine back in here anyway. Space them out a bit. Give them a bit more room to wriggle. Give them a bit of wriggle room. You think that's a technical term? Wriggle room for bees? <laughs> I don't think so. Rightio, ladies. It's all good. It's all good, you're gonna figure this out. I've got great faith in your ability. In the wild, sometimes the bees will bloom and their branch will fall out the tree and this will sort of happen to them naturally. So they're adapted to doing, to doing this, what we're trying to achieve. The main purpose of the exercise, of course, is to just avoid them having a swarm. So if we can avoid that, I'll be most impressed. What to do with my box? I very cleverly put my blooming frames on top of the queen excluder that I wanna put on here now, so. Oh, I don't know, all the best laid plans. All right, so I'm gonna just pop them in the middle. Pop them in there. Give the chicks a little bit of smoke off the edge. And we're gonna slide our queen excluder across. Try not to crush too many people. Come on, everybody. Yes, I know, it's like a blooming earthquake, isn't it? It's been a typhoon. It's been a bush bee man typhoon come through. Right, beautiful. And we're gonna pop this up here. So now we'll put the rest of the frames in the box. We've got the queen excluder, we've theoretically, well, we should have. We've got the queen below the queen excluder. We've got some brood that looks like it can be raised as a queen above the queen excluder. Now the little nurse bees are gonna run up here because they've got an instinct to look after these little babies and they're, they're you know, they know what their job is. So they're gonna run up here and then in the morning, the nurse bees will be up the top and then we'll be able to just put a divider board in here and we'll create ourselves a new box and so, reduce some of this congestion so they won't swarm, but we'll be, so it'll be just easier to keep them in our workforce.
Well, here we are the next morning. This is the easy part of the project. It doesn't take very long. Well, of course, it doesn't take very long if it's one. It takes a little while when you've got a few hundred. But anyway, I've got these little divider boards that I've made up so you can actually do your splits a bit easier. You can even use a bit of cardboard if you want to get really crazy. Or you can take that super off and just put it on a new base. I like these boards because it lets a little bit of heat come up from the bottom brood chamber into the new hive and so they don't have to work so hard. Also, I don't like smoking too much in this project unless you've got angry hive. I guess I haven't even got my smoker lit. I'm just going to use a bit of residue smell. Give it a little puff in the front door to make them think about something else for a minute. But I'm not going to smoke them at the top because I don't want to chase any bees off the frames that I want them to be on. Because the goal of the exercise is to keep enough nurse bees in the top box to raise themselves a new queen. So then you'll have a new box of bees. So I don't want to scare anybody out of there that doesn't want to already go. So, so then all we're going to do is we're going to lift this super up and we're going to pop this board between the two boxes. Of course you want the opening you know, so that the top box has got somewhere to get out. You know, otherwise that'll be defeating the purpose, you'll kill everybody. But it's another really cool idea is if you play, when you do your split, put your, put your new entrance the opposite side of the box, because in a minute we're going to turn the whole box around and confuse the shit out of everybody and give the top box some worker bees. If you're introducing a new queen, you might not want to turn it around because sometimes the filled bees are the angry old cows that don't like the new queen, but you're making a natural split, ah, I think it's a good idea. Bring home some workers. Oh yeah. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to have a bit of a peekaboo. Hopefully not everybody will get excited. Right, so we're just going to lift our lid off. Very nice. We've got a nice box of bees here, which is what you want. Okay, so we're just going to take this off. Pop that over here for a minute. Nice and gentle. Try not to bang everybody, just be nice and chilled out. Now we're going to take our bottom box and we're going to spin it around so as the entrance is at the back. And we're going to put our new board on here. We want our entrance facing where the old entrance was. Like that. Right, and we're going to put our box back on. And put our lid back on. Now we're going to have a bit of mass confusion, but the girls will come back here thinking this is where they're supposed to go but they'll run up here and go in this little hole. Plenty of the others from around the back will still orientate back to the other side of the hive. And if you go about it this way, you can actually leave them as a set together. Going forward, you can actually lift this box up, put a super there, leave the dividing board and put a super on this one and leave everybody as a nice warm stack for a little while. That depends on where you are, what time of year. I mean, this time of year in Oz, it's all a bit weird. As you can see, the storm's blowing in, so tomorrow's gonna be crap, so. Hopefully they'll all be happy inside here making a new queen because it'll be a bit hectic to do anything else. So in about 10 days time, I'll come back and I'll have a look and see what queen cells they've managed to raise. If you have a look at your split and they haven't actually even got a queen cell because the, the larvae and the eggs that you put there they didn't like or they couldn't use, just get organised and take another frame from downstairs and put in the top box that you're trying to organise. As long as there's enough bees of course. So in roughly about two weeks we're going to have a mated queen and she's going to be laying away in here and we want to come back and make sure she's laying and all things are going as planned and that's what you call a walk away split because we're about to walk away and I'm not going to do the splits because I'm too old. <laughs>